everybody. Uh, I welcome uh, um, Ivy here, but uh, her Chinese name is Yu and Yu. Uh, I'm Diana Roman, uh, CEO of Art Gallery Shanghai. We are here at the eighth place art center where we hold all the artist talks so far. We held all the artist talks so far. Uh, here we are again with the artist talk uh, involving uh, the creativity of these uh, uh, young, uh, talented artists. Uh, welcome, uh, Ivy. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> um, I would like uh, uh, first to um, uh, say a few words uh, um, about uh, Ivy. Uh, she's the co-founder of Sassin Art Project. Uh, she has uh, the Master of Fine Arts from California College of Art and received the Bachelor of uh, Fine Arts in School of Visual Arts in New York. Uh, and she has always used uh, the philosophical propositions implied in Himalayan uh, religion as the motive and used the critical thinking of social science to conduct research on contemporary art practice. The forum includes, but is not limited to, the search and discussion of human senses and the ultimate truth, and to expand new spiritual content in the contemporary social context. So, interesting issues that she, uh, she approaches in her art. Uh, thank you for coming, Ivy. Um, I would not start uh, like uh, uh, every other artist talk that, uh, that I have uh, held uh, so far with the question, with the question, what uh, uh, was your first uh, step? Right. I would rather ask you, um, how was uh, um, your uh, period of study in America? Well, it's actually very hard to say as a Chinese because like I'm also, I, I, I went to I went to US when I just, just finished my high school and start my art education in New York and well it's hard to say like you definitely have to admit that that's the that's very that's the kind of the thing or the, the place that is the head of the world and art world and I do learn a lot of stuff and I really see a lot of great artists and their work and they do really effective and um, I, I don't know how to describe but just the tons of information that there is from New York. But later on, like after I after I get back to China, I find well, it's, you still need a, like a like more various point of view to look at what art is or to the content content of the art because it's such such a complicated and like multi layered things that you you have to. It's good that you have like a like a standpoint that's from America, but also like I I want like I I want to like pursue a, another kind of point of view, maybe from Asia or even like yeah yeah Asia includes Tibet, includes um includes even Japan, includes a lot of a lot of places. Uh, it's important. Uh, the school obviously it's important for for your uh, broadening in the knowledge, but definitely yes, you need to find your way uh, uh, of creativity, who you are, and all these uh, uh, huge, immense uh, uh, artistic creations all all around the world. And I can say that. Um, um, so far, what have what have I seen uh, uh, of your creations? They're all interesting, and uh, including starting with this uh, this artwork, uh, it's um, uh, the 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 Latin Buddha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, okay, can can you tell us something? Yeah. So for I would like to introduce my work from this piece because I think that's the most typical one. Right. Well, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, start with this, and then we will talk about the art work here. Uh, well, because like, for this work, it's actually I think um, the the most typical one that talking about the, the the content that I'm researching on, and this is called the Lady Buddha. So as the as those shapes and forms you can see, they are actually the great, and actually those kind of forms are originally they they were the the proportion of Tanka painting and Tanka painting is the traditional Tibetan painting. Like 
it's different for the they have to be painted on um, a certain proportion. Um, just just for the purpose of design. Like you have to paint them in a certain proportion in case it's not it's not um like like the Buddha, the hand should be here and it should be here. It just prevents that. I don't want to say it prevents individual cre creativity, but it's more like a um, religious purpose, so that's necessary. And I'm thinking, like for the proportion, I think it's very interesting because this proportion has been used for thousands of years after it has been invented. So, like, like through these thousands of years, um, it's a proportion, like the, the proportion has been used for, I don't know, millions or so, like, you, you never can count it how many yes, times it's it a standard yeah, that yeah, yeah. used yeah. in, in uh, illustrating yeah, a, yeah. a Buddha statue or... Yeah, true, mm -hmm. true. So the, so the proportion has been used, like, you, you don't know how many times it has, it, it got repeated. And this kind of reputation, it's very important in, in, in Buddhism since, you, you know, you repeat to chanting or repeat one script for tens of thousands, million, like hundreds of thousands of times. Like, so I'm thinking like, if the, the proportion has been repeated for thousands of times, but not the Buddha figure, because different people still paint the Buddha figure in a little bit different way. Like, Although the, the whole view is similar, but the, but the little like, details, like, like fingers, how, how you paint it, or the, 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 fa the face expression is a little bit different. So still different people have different expression of Buddha, but the proportion, they just never change. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking, um, as a Buddhism thing, like they think, um, the, the very basic thing of the universe or say the standard, the very um, background, those kind of logic, background logic is kind of the truth, then I'm thinking are we worshipping to the proportion or the Buddha itself, like which one? Yeah. Well, um, this has a similarity somehow uh, to um, uh, the orthodox way of, of depicting icons. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, has a similarity with the Greeks, mm -hmm. how they invented the canon, uh, also the proportions. I mean, because, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's some, somehow uh, um, when you are uh, um, making uh, an image that will be followed and somehow uh, idolized by uh, millions of millions of people, we have to think of a certain formula that would uh, um, avoid any uh, lifeless uh, life kind, you know, uh, um, life appearance or uh, um, sexiness mm -hmm. or erotic or reality mm -hmm. in this. That mm -hmm. this canon obviously is uh, uh, is lacking all those uh, uh, realisms and it implies a certain formula mm. uh, even if it's uh, Jesus Christ, Buddha mm. or the mm. gods uh, that Greeks and Romans uh, uh, sculpted for yeah. so many uh, yeah. thousand years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, therefore, yes, uh, it's a standard, it's a canon but yeah. uh, it's uh, it's uh, very interesting your um, idea of uh, illustrating it uh -huh. uh, somehow becoming uh, more shapes yeah. and colors and you have to agree with me it looks like uh, uh, B. Mondrian yeah. some, at some point right I mean <laughs> uh, yeah. he started yeah. also like a certain you know uh, depicting uh, the Broadway boogie woogie, mm -hmm. it's it's uh, uh, the reality of a city that he depicted in mm -hmm. this this kind of yeah. Way. And actually, for this point, it's very interesting. Oh, like first of all, I have to introduce the color. Like why I choose those kind of colors? So for uh, for example, for this one is for Green Tara, and Green Tara, I choose the three colors that has been used the most frequently. So you can see the. The green greenness they her skin, and the, the red part that maybe the jewelry, and the, the the blue part maybe the 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 sky just behind her. Mm -hmm. So so I choose the extreme most often colors. And actually, like talking about like, modernism and those kind of things, like for 
that have maybe revealed on this work. It's very interesting that this work is actually anti-modernism since it's talking about the traditional things, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and um, so in this case, it's very important to um, to discover what's happening in, in, the, in the middle mm -hmm. of the, mm -hmm. yeah. And then actually it's a performance um, that I recorded. So I actually, for the very reverse actions, I. I draw the Buddha figure first, so that's Guintara. Mm -hmm. I draw the Guintara first, and then I draw the grid. Actually, as it has to be like a reverse, you know, it has to be you draw the grid first, and yeah. then you draw the draw the, the Buddha. But this time I reverse it, and uh, and then uh, and then after I draw all the grid, I erase the Buddha figure since it disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like physically deleting the Buddha. And um, yeah, and this is actually very important um, in this work that to be placed in the in the whole work because um, this also have been presented a lot of times in New York and a lot of art critics they ask me like, oh, what a modernism painting like? Why you put it here? Like why like why you print the modernism painting in our days and I and I said actually it's anti-modernism like since you step in and see the details inside then you will realize it's actually more anti-modernism so there is like an ironic hmm. purpose that I want to I don't know it's it's just naturally like a grow up ironic meaning and um, yeah yeah it, it's like I'm getting like I'm thinking more about this nowadays. I, I feel that I don't know. Um, maybe American art or Western art Western. have too many discourse of what contemporary or modern or modernism is, yeah. or like you just because that calls people like the first way to toward this this work is modernism, modernism, but actually it's not. Right. <laughs> well, uh, that's the, the, the danger uh, right now, putting labels uh, <laughs> and, uh, and criticism and contemporary, so to speak, art, art history. It's putting labels. Of course, uh, it's very important to, uh, to listen to the artist, to listen to the concept and to see in fact that here a part of the formal mm -hmm. appearance because the formal appearance of course every, everybody has uh, knowledge about modern art the formal appearance would go directly to uh, the, the, the modern art uh, period to, to Piet Mondrian and stuff but the idea is to understand that it is your real uh, really it is your uh, a process of approaching uh, your uh, roots, your uh, uh, tradition, your re religion uh, into this kind of uh, performance and uh, play a little bit with the mind of the viewer. Is it a Buddha? No, it's not. I erased it. Uh, it is a greed. Yes, it is a greed, but the greed uh, shows us directly uh, um, the uh, um, image, standardized image of, uh, of the Buddha, of the deleted Buddha, and the colors uh, uh, symbolize the same thing. So, yeah. Thank you. That's a perfect description, or is it the extending explanation of the word? Yeah, and actually, I just found the interesting thing that you just talked about, about the Greeks especially actually um, the Buddha figure originally originally it's from Greek sculpture you know you can still see a lot of Buddha figure that has a very not high nose and that's because it's far from that Greek towards like it's a like such a like such an interesting cultural influence but still like it's yes yes it, it has an influence some of some of the Buddha statues are more flat in terms of rendering the uh, uh, the clothes, uh, mm -hmm. some of them um, more realistic, and uh, those are, mm -hmm. so to speak, Greek Buddhas, uh, Hellenistic, Hellenistic Greek uh, uh -huh. Buddhas, because uh -huh. they definitely have uh, an influence, and also in, in the gestures that that uh, yeah, 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 Buddha yeah. has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, um, 
it's an influence that at some point it was uh, all over the world uh, taking into account that uh, Greek civilization had mm -hmm. a powerful influence on many mm -hmm. other civilizations mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. therefore but, but how do you think about those kind of civilization is it even it can they be called a kind of colonialization or some of them yes some of them yes uh, uh, others because we are talking about the, the period uh, of Buddhism that that was mainly in India so and then exported to to other uh, Asian countries to China mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, those are uh, somehow influences due to, to commerce mm -hmm. and not colonization mm -hmm. <laughs> only due to commerce mm -hmm. uh, to navigation to I don't know going from one place to other exchanging uh, goods like you know mm -hmm. silk and mm -hmm. cotton towards uh, you know what Greeks had mm -hmm. other fruits or something so it's it's more due to commerce. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. I agree with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What else do you have? Uh, uh, what what other secrets do you have uh, okay. there to show us? Okay. So oh yeah, that's yeah that's the details of mm -hmm. the work. And yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's a work. Oh yeah, that's just the details of the work. And um, yeah. If you if you would like to s uh, sell it, would would you sell it by piece, or uh, mm -hmm. you won't you won't? I will Yeah, of course. What do you think? No, sure, right. sure. It's it's an entire piece with yeah. a, with an entire concept. Yeah. Therefore, um, if anyone wants to to buy mm -hmm. one little piece, you I think you have to do it by a, 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 a print or something. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely, and and limited only. edition of uh -huh. prints. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's the piece we we have it here yeah, on it on the here. pillar. This one, the name of the work is called the Sutra Vision. Um, well, yeah, still it has like a complicated concept behind that I want to um, talk about. Like, um, for this one, it starts with the illusion that our eyes made for us, or our brain made up made for us because like um like for our eyes we capture a lot of elements in the space like the chairs or say the the walls or that piece of work and we we have all of those information and our brains um, formulated and generated you know, and they kind of illusionarily make it into a space but actually they are, they don't have like a very complete system that it's they, this is a space and that's the vantage point and this is the side actually it's just just a lot of just 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 uh, i don't know what you say just a bunch of elements that's together but yeah so there actually is no vantage point and there's no like very academic um point of view mm -hmm. that's that's mm -hmm. the painting um renaissance painting always suggests yeah, yeah so yeah. uh-huh it reminds me if we're still having, uh, you know, mm, um, a, a Dutch public here. It reminds me of uh, the uh, landscapes, uh, Dutch landscapes. Somehow, um, Vermeer uh, had this idea of panoramic uh, landscape uh, encompassing more than uh, the the view, uh, the normal view would uh, would encompass. So. Uh, the shape, actually, this this uh, uh, or his horizontal shape of, of this uh, artwork, uh, again, yes, is showing more than uh, our eye can can imagine uh, things and shapes in into a, a space. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, go with a camera in a panoramic view, and then you ha you would have only a, a horizontal mm -hmm. uh, photo of it uh -huh. with uh, mm, with many. Uh, points of uh, perspective if I can yeah this is deceiving yeah there are many focal points in mm -hmm. this <laughs> mm -hmm. many focal points that's a purpose it's like um, they're not even related to each other but they just exist by their own but still like every focal point formula like compose the whole image so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. interesting view of um, let's say renaissance baroque uh, uh, compositions 
would uh, would offer in terms of panoramic and and focal points. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's playful. She's very playful <laughs> in her, in her uh, but it's normal. She's yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. young. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I you know, use a playful language to say something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Next. Yeah. For this one. Yeah. It looks. Should, it's here yeah. also. We yeah. Have it. And the name of it is called Floor is Flawless. And actually, this is just a spontaneous painting that's after I read Simborska. And you know, Simborska is yeah. a poet. Like, she had a great, sh she had a lot of great poems. And the, the, the can, I, can I find this poem? Like, I can uh, read Yeah, to if, if you can find it. But it's interesting uh, uh, in, in terms of title, Floor is floorless yeah I, mm -hmm. I mean it's uh, is it uh, uh, the floor that we're having <laughs> that we're having you know uh, below our, our, our uh, um, yeah. existence is floorless it's it's it a Dadaism <laughs> somehow <laughs> it's, it's oh absurd you know me too much and that's a, that's exactly the purpose they give, um, the the floor, it's it's floor to us, but it's not the floor to itself. Those yeah. kind of thing, and yeah, I can. I can. So uh, uh, expressing this, you even cut a piece out of the painting, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. E expressing, yeah. in fact, the 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 lack of uh, floor. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Yeah. The lack the of the canvas. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the yeah, the, the point is the lake floor exists floorlessly and the, its shore exists shorelessly. The water field itself neither white or nor dry. <laughs> it's you know, it's kind of another way to talking about the ex existence towards our own. Like yeah, yeah those kind of it's very metaphysics, but still very interesting. Yes, of course, uh -huh. of course. Well, mm, always um, um, connecting words uh, and concepts um, to uh, to painting, um, trying to paint concepts uh -huh, like uh -huh. floorless. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, this is obviously. Um, uh, something uh, challenging for the artist, mm -hmm. challenging for the uh, for the the public, for mm -hmm. the viewer, mm -hmm. but it's very interesting because it sets your mind to think. Thinking, and yeah. I believe, first and foremost, art should make make us think, think. <laughs> Not I, I don't want to see all all pretty uh, artworks or something that that I would uh, I would say oh how beautiful it is look how pretty it is no no <laughs> I yes I would really want to see uh, uh, art that makes me think makes me mm -hmm. meditate uh, yeah uh, yeah that's the the purpose that I want makes to me react in a yeah, way yeah, or yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. Like people react, so so to speak, about Rothko's uh, paintings. <laughs> uh, many of them crying. Mm. So yeah, that's it. we need to have a reaction. Yeah, because I think it's very interesting to artists that be aware of that you're making artists to bring up questions. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a process of questioning your audience. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's very important. Otherwise, your art might just be your own place, pleasant. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So somehow I would ne really need to, uh, and I'm trying to to educate somehow the public, not to search uh, only beautiful artworks, mm -hmm. pretty artworks, but to search and to like and to collect and to collect uh, works that makes you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, I hope that the trending of our market are can towards more like the artwork that needs considering and thinking and that kind of, yeah, just well, like what you said, yeah. Well, we need a, a, a lot of patience yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and, <laughs> and modulating and educating the art market mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, opinion makers, but uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. at least we're trying to do that. Yeah, yeah, like what you said, I now I really feel like 
Yeah, it's very hard to just combine a very obscure concept into painting because painting is such a physical thing, right? Yeah, so yeah, for like, I really did think a lot about how to express about like a, that's like that's obscure thing, like floor is floorless thing, you know, it's even obscure than a normal language, a sentence. Yeah, and for this, I'm thinking about like very solid the color, color palette and for using those kind of um, squares to symbolize the material alleys and also I cut one piece off to stand about to stand for the the losing something or the um, I don't know to yeah just just a counter counter materiality or you know whatever. Yeah, yeah right 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 yeah. right but everything expresses. I mean, all those those uh, uh, very transparent shades that that you uh, m inserted there uh, takes us to the less part of the world. Mm -hmm. Less. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not solid. It's less yeah. solid. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. Uh, this is the play, and mm -hmm. I think uh, um, the Dada is the. the were the first to 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 uh, bring this this wonderful play between uh, words and, and and art, and um, that's the basis for contemporary art, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also think so. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, for next. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This. Ah, one. we have some. Yeah, we have four here. Yeah, we have four here. And but it's a series of how many? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so you can see a lot of, I you know, so the name for this group offering is called Sacred Pippi. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, because the size of the painting is very small, and okay, actually, this is the second version. This is the first, first version. Yeah, so it has slightly changed a little bit details, but yeah, for this, it's even more small, like this. like like this. Like oh, this. yeah, really. So four, four centimeters or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, and for the very, very small scale, I want to um, suggest a, 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 a viewing behavior of audience that we step into the, like, step closer to the painting and kind of want to discover it. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you just step very close to it and, like, look into a little mm -hmm. hole mm -hmm. and there's another word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the purpose of why I use little scales to um, represent such a lot of little things and it's like a floating in the universe, right? Because mm -hmm. I, as I use the, the black as the, the background, yeah. the, the, the just the data that I want to convey, it's like a, like a, like a space or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I like that idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. You really have to get closer to see what is something to yeah. get into. Yeah, it reminds me of the, the, the John Lennon Yoko Ono story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if you know yeah. how they met. Yeah. Uh -huh. John Lennon visited an exhibition of hers. Uh -huh. yeah. And there was a stairs in a white room with something on the wall, but he didn't know what. And he had to climb the stairs. And then he looked and he said, yes, just yes. Yeah. And wow. he liked that so much that he got to get in touch with her and well they get up eventually as lovers and but yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, so he oh, didn't know wow. what it was what an empty room with the stairs what's up there i don't know i have to climb the stairs to see yeah you know, so that reminds oh me gosh. of what's this i have to get closer <laughs> to yeah so it's better if i have a, like a huge empty room and just put one little thing yeah. on the on the ceiling yeah. or even yeah. build a box with a hole yeah. in it, and then that you just you just cool force too. the people actually to peep <laughs> through the, the, uh. the very small hole and have uh, the the look at uh, at the um, uh, the artwork uh, per se. Uh, I I uh, um, uh, I think it's um, it's intriguing and because people are they, they won't know. Mm -hmm what to expect mm -hmm. right uh -huh. so uh -huh. it, it's uh, mm -hmm. always uh, very yeah uh, very interesting in this you know hiding but not really uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah and it needs your action to 
yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. yeah to involving, work. yeah. So yeah. you are involved in this, also part of the artwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now recently I'm work, I'm researching on a topic that's like Roland Barthes. Like no. he, he has. I was wanting, I, I wanted to to ask you about French structuralist <laughs> <laughs> yeah. writers. Yeah, yeah, Roland yeah. Barthes. Yeah, he has a theory of um, the the relationship between artists artwork and the viewer so it's like a triangle relationship that's mm, mm, very important to play with i think yeah. and uh, although nowadays i think the position of artists seems not as strong enough and it's getting reduced because the like, artwork is definitely very important because it's there and viewers are very important because we need viewers otherwise artwork may not as significant but ho however, I still think like our like our starting point of the work, like also like <coughs> the, the the context, the background, of course. yeah, all the culture we 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 encountered to create this work behind the artists is also very important. So like I'm recently thinking that we we need captures like this behind the behind the artwork to um, make the artists be present. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Just just make the, the importance of the author. I mean, it, it the the work wouldn't be the work without the author. Author. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's it's not what it said. It's the death of the author. <laughs> of the, all all those uh, yeah, French writers, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh, talking about. Uh, yeah, you have to bring your own views about that, uh, uh, saying precisely, no, no, the author is not dead, mm -hmm. art is not dead, uh, uh. Uh, art is still uh, uh, forcefully uh, um, very important and the author is also very important and then um, bring your own views about this because it's the, you're, you're fresh, <laughs> I mean, you're, you know, uh, you read a lot, that's, that's very important, but somehow uh, uh, you manage to detach from everything that you uh, uh, encountered either in the United States or any other part that you visited, probably Japan and so, um, and detach yourself from, from this and then find your own uh, ways, your own ideas about how to do uh, your art and where is where are you as author in all this kind mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. process? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. This. Yeah. Nowadays, I feel like especially for the artwork, like, artists always want to figuring out that their an identity. Like, like, who are you? Are you what race are you comes from, or like wh what exact um, gender you are, all that kind of stuff, right? But I still think it's. It's not a simple thing that you can explain it like, like a just 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 what by one answer, right? Exactly. By one clear answer, because I think it's such a multi-layered thing. Like of yeah, course, for, for of all course. of us, right? Of course, of course. Depending on the personal experiences that, apart from studies, but personal experiences, <laughs> mm. uh, it, it, uh, it's it's uh, it's um, the context, it's uh, the time. It's I've. I lived my young uh, years in the 90s, so <laughs> <laughs> there were other times where the other lack of uh, a lot of uh, elements, but still art was, uh, uh, was powerful back then. It's political right now, it's not, it's maybe abstract right now, it's uh, whatever, conceptual right now. Mm -hmm. Right now it's, it's a rich context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a rich context. That's the right word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. We have Okay. So this is a word over there. Yeah, we yeah. have it also. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I would have um, uh, exhibited uh, as well uh, ver on a vertical matter, oh, but we had to split another. it somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't that's, that's another way to look at it. Yeah. And actually, the, for this work, the name of it is called There's No Up or Down Without Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can see always the, the black circle is attached to the bottom of the white circle. Mm -hmm. And um, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a very, it's, um, yeah, so if you look 
from from after dawn, it's a it's a clockwise. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you look inside, like you can see, this is black. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing. So, so for for this is bottom, and this is oh yeah. So yeah. So for the white part, this is on the right, and this up, and this. So it's counterclockwise <laughs> inside. So I'm thinking that. So, <laughs> so for the black circle, it's a universe that with gravity, and for the white circle, it's a universe that's without gravity. And um, um, and also like for this work, I'm thinking um, gravity is actually an interesting thing because we always will. Um, we will we, 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 we are not like keep be aware of gravity. We always forget it. Yeah. But 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 I, I'm thinking that we should be keeping aware of that it's gravity that's um it's make us yeah, 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 yeah. Make us stand on the floor because that's um a respect toward the universe because universe is it's not mature, it's still in the process of going. So that's a very so, so that's a very important thing to be aware of, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we stand here because of gravity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Simple things, you know, simple thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. ideas. Yeah, just simple ideas. But that uh, form the basis of a very I interesting artwork. Otherwise, <laughs> if, if uh, you wouldn't hear the story, you would say, oh, yeah, it's just an abstract uh, yeah. geometric artwork mm. playing with. Uh, uh, black and white uh -huh. and, and uh, circles yeah. and that's all but yeah, uh, yeah it's very yeah. interesting so interestingly that's also the reason that I that I think it's very important to put captions beside it yeah because yeah, yeah originally this was an idea not a painting mm -hmm. like yeah so even I think it's very important you read the caption first and you know what I'm talking about then read the painting yeah, uh, as I said, the Dalai said the concept and the idea is <laughs> important. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so uh, I also support that. Mm. The idea is important yeah. because otherwise it's rendering, uh, it's only a craft. I mean, uh, an artist uh, is a good craftsman and could, mm. could aspire only to be that, uh -huh. a good craftsman and that's all. But no, uh, not only crafts. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's... It, it has to to be art. It has to be a con to have a concept mm -hmm. and to to acquire uh, aesthetic value, yeah. not not only uh, craft. Yeah. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Then how about one more work that yeah. is not present here? Please. Yeah. Okay, because because um, I I really put a lot of work in this PowerPoint, but considering all the time that we. Just one more? Yeah, okay. please. Okay, so for this work, it's called 400 Discarded Objects. So those are 400 objects that I um, abandoned um, during, um, before I moved back to China and after the pandemic happened in New York. So like, um, just, just after the pandemic, just after lockdown, I locked down in, in, in home in New York for two months and then planning back get, get back to China and you know I have tons of stuff that I I, I cannot bring, bring with me and um, you know I I booked the plane ticket with like a one minute decision that I gotta go and um, and you know the the the, the, the the flight doesn't allow me to bring anything and it only allows me like one carry on luggage, you know, wow. like it sucks. And so, and for those objects, they just stay with me, accompany me, with me like for two months. That's only me and those objects yeah. that inside this space um, that during this pandemic. And you can see nobody, only this object. So there's a, I feel there's a new form of relationship that's, that's kind of, um, going up that I, I experienced during the pandemic, like those kind of things, objects are like your, your friends. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, so it's It's hard to, to, to part uh, from them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's, so I record 400 discarded objects. Like you can, and I, I, I print them um, in a real, like, 
in a life side. So you can also you can step into the to the works and, and you can see my daily life objects. <laughs> yeah, you can you can see even the soy sauce I used. Yes, yes, yes that's right. Even even a lot of books. Oh my gosh, that's the most heartbreaking part. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you that's love really cool. yeah, yeah. Private private objects like my claws, my 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 vinyls. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I've collected so much vinyls the last one and a half year in home. Oh my god, really? So, so tell me, what happened with these objects? They have been abandoned. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you don't have, not even a friend has them? Oh well, no, like, um, because I cannot see anyone. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is I yeah. have to discard. <laughs> yeah, 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 this yeah, is so painful. This is. This is. It is, but it, it's also fascinating. It, of course. <laughs> and, no, I mean, and if you think about it... You, you did something with it at least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Every, yeah. every object has a story, obviously. Yeah. So oh, oh. You, could, you could write a book on this uh, work al alone. Yeah, I can even write a 400 stories behind yes. them. Exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> think about it. Yes, and I'm thinking about like, it. There's a concept, I don't know whether you guys know it, from Japanese, Japanese created, it's called Benshari, you know, it's, it means that you need to cut off all the things, all the unnecessary things, things yeah. like the clothes you're not gonna wear in the future, and you're gonna, you, you just discard the unnecessary things, um, in purpose of, um, just, just clearing yourself, mm. clearing your inner side. But I think this is such a bullshit because this this only makes sense in the peace area, peace age, right? Because um, like for the for the disaster happened when when we encountered the pandemic, those kind of those kind of uncertainty that's caused caused a lot of things that we cannot Stress, control. Yeah. yeah, and when those kind of things happened, then Shari and those cutting off, it's just like bullshit, like. You know? Yeah, it's about context. Obviously, if mm -hmm. that's this is a, a, a tradition or something that uh, uh, Japanese civilization has mm -hmm. uh, in a certain context, they, this is uh, uh, about a context that anyway everybody experienced, uh, mm -hmm. and it's it's uh, uh, full of pain. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's hurtful because it's about the uncertainty that you you talked about mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, about uh, the future, mm -hmm. how w how will it be? Mm -hmm. Will we be the same? Mm -hmm. And start ar asking questions. Mm -hmm. Those objects obviously mm -hmm. represent <laughs> a small part of your uh, life, but uh, um, an intense one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely yeah, intense yeah. one. Yeah. Well, I know why I choose you uh, as as uh, as an artist here because. Uh, I've met her uh, first online. Uh, mm -hmm. Last year was uh, was mainly uh, a year for promoting uh, exhibitions online, and therefore I, I met uh, um, Ivy in an online show. Then I I um, loved what I saw. Then we met uh, practically we've met face to face uh, last September. No, in June. Yeah, I, in June, uh, when uh, when I, I had a cooperation with Shanghai Collection Museum, then but I, I get to, to know her better and then to see more of her works, and I I admire her her uh, substance uh, in, in in her concepts and and in rendering and her um, originality, her unique uh, um, style of, uh, of of doing these things. Uh, in her own way, linking uh, two uh, uh, big civilizations like Western and Eastern, it's it's uh, it's amazing how she she's doing it with such a freshness. It's normal because uh, again she's she's young, uh, but and, and I admire uh, her works. Uh, Thank you. Precisely because they have uh, at a basis they they, they live from a, a concept, yeah. and that's that's the most important thing apart being a painting, uh, an installation, and whatever. It, they come from a concept. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when, when was this? This was 
last this April. In, in New York? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting uh, also the, the space. I mean, it, yeah. it really is very clean. The, like, the you picture know. in itself is, is a piece of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Really, the yeah. space, it's, it's very interesting for precisely this kind of uh, installation. Did, did you ever felt like you were, you were a little girl? Did you ever felt like you will be an artist? When I was a little girl, like I, I was trained as pianist, you know. Oh. And later, yeah, later on, it's, I don't know how it comes, but yeah, because in high school I was sent to paint the walls, you know, <laughs> those kind of coincidences. And then finally, I just getting, just want to be an artist and just, yeah, that's great. <laughs> That's great. If if you have support, it's it's, it's amazing. And yeah. having contact with music, which is an art, <laughs> that's uh, mm -hmm. that's I mean, good that's the same. <laughs> good yeah. You still play? Yeah, still good. play. Good. Yeah, but not that hard. It's yeah, it's too many things to do. Yeah. Mm. Well, sometimes we'll we'll have a piano here. Maybe uh, we'll, you'll, ah. you'll hear you hear you play. That's it's my instrument too. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Cool, great. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. A lot of uh, musicians nice. here. <laughs> okay. Uh, and apart from you know painting, which which tool, let's say, you would prefer in your own studio, in, in your own uh, space of of of, uh, of creating art. Mm. So yeah, for me, I think for this question, I think it's. Um, because you know that my work's most based on ideas, so I would like to even releasing myself from painting, but towards more possibilities. Like I would like to use anything to express my art. Like the only uh, the only thing that I would like to use is appropriate medium. Mm -hmm. Like like whatever is appropriate, it can be used. So it's uh, it's uh, not one object. It's everything. It, it it could be every everything, every technique, a, a mixed media. Uh -huh. You would call yourself a mixed media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Crazy, <laughs> <laughs> uh, passionate artist uh, uh, to uh, to search all the, the those ways of uh, of expressing your creativity. Mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's great. Do you have a studio of your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jiaxing, it's a little town beside Shanghai. Yeah, and it's quiet, so I can focus more by myself. That's Maybe. beautiful. No. Maybe sometimes we'll get a, a glimpse of your uh, of your studio. Yeah, no problem. You in your studio. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's amazing to see. Mm -hmm. uh, what influences you? What do you think it influences you most in? and your creativity. I think the thing that influenced me the most is not religion but more like meditative or say the sp spiritual practice mm -hmm. because those kind of inner side practice or spiritual practice let me um, be more sensitive to the world mm -hmm. so you can get more obscure feelings mm -hmm. and they are very really important because I, like what I think art is, it's just a thing that cannot be explained by other, other media. Like you cannot, like journal. If a, if an obscure concept that cannot be expressed by, by a journalist or by a writer, then artist plays his role here, her roles here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so for me, like those obscure feelings, it's. It's the most key, key like the most important thing that I want to capture, and um, yeah, the the also the way to capture those obscure thing is spiritual practice or say the meditation or say those kind of, um, yeah, it's a way to open yourself into a more huge world that's not only limited in the three dimensional even. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, it's important. I mean, the inner struggles, either there, I don't know, it's a peaceful uh, uh, interiority mm -hmm. or 
uh, a suffering still uh, in inside you, mm -hmm. they're uh, always creating uh, uh, emotions, always creating ideas, mm -hmm. and then yeah, therefore. Uh, they have their uh, their uh, normal way uh, uh, exhibiting uh, exhibited being exhibited through uh, through artwork. So uh, um, it's important that you find you find your piece uh, uh, for creating art, uh, uh, having these meditations and and uh, uh, let's say spiritual moments. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I think this is important for each creator to um, uh, take a step back, relax, and take a pause and think. Think a lot before uh, starting a new project. Mm -hmm. uh, not only, let's say, having a spiritual, uh, but having a pause. Uh, like uh, the, that trunk ability uh, necessary to to uh, sparkle the idea mm -hmm. of what he or she was uh, is going to do next mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is important to find your own peace even in suffering to find your own peace and then start something new and original mm -hmm. thank you for thank you <laughs> thank you for uh, for uh, mm -hmm. having uh, uh, you here and for uh, for being with us uh, um, it's uh, it's amazing uh, to know um, all your ideas about uh, about your projects. I hope uh, that uh, in the future we'll uh, have another artist talk about your other uh, projects because there are a lot of them that we haven't Still talked about. Not. Yeah. So yeah, okay. we will definitely do it again. Yeah. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.